Hello everyone, Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Mysteries of Azeroth Turtle Wow and our High Elf Mage leveling campaign. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I truly do appreciate it, and I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I thought about going on a paladin or a priest instead, but in the stream, some of you guys convinced me to just stick it out on the mage and just deal with what seems like the increased difficulty here that I, I'm not really used to. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to stick it out on the mage. I did level up a paladin to this exact point. So if at any time in the future, like, we want to switch classes, I'll try to get them leveled up to where we're at. So, like, as far as the story is concerned, we just kind of keep progressing. But for now, we're going to stay on the mage and we're going to try to make it work. Uh, that being said, what are we doing today? We are after Mana Worm Eyes. We need chunks of Stallhorn meat and Hawk Strider wings. And eventually we need to head out to Fell Strider Retreat. All right, so the worms are, are nearby <clears throat> and they're kind of deadly. I actually got killed by one trying to run over here. Uh, they're level six and we're level six, so let, let's see how it goes. Uh, and yeah, I did accidentally vendor a couple of things. <laughs> Trying to send some stuff over to the Paladin, I accidentally vendored my weapon, my staff, and my skinning knife. So that's a little bit of an inconvenience. Um, hmm. I wonder if I just need to head back over to town. Let's make our way back over to the city. I'll, I'll kind of fight some things along the way and we'll find a new skinning knife. We also have to find the Stallhorns and the Crimson Hawk Striders. I, I haven't seen any Crimson Hawk Striders. And I haven't seen anything called a stall, a Stallhorn. Uh, we see lots of stags, like right here, but this doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. I really don't want to fight a level 8 Lynx. I feel like a level 8 Lynx is going to kill us pretty easily. And I'm really happy to be able to play in the late afternoon today. We can uh, see these zones in the daylight. This is actually a very pretty time of day. It's uh, 1945 at server time. Uh, I don't know what, I think that's approaching like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Not, I'm not really good at those conversions, but it's approaching that kind of golden sunset hour, which looks really nice. Uh, let's see, the trade goods vendor was over by the Regency Spire which is to the east of the bazaar. And then I might also, somebody mentioned in the stream that I should look for a better wand on the auction house. So let's find the auction house while we're at it. Now I don't, I don't really know if I have any money for this, uh, but it'd be nice to check out. Oh, apparently it's marking the auction house right here. Maybe right inside this building. Oh, there we go. 
It's not anywhere where you would expect it to be. Uh, let's look for Lesser Magic Wand. 23 silver. Oh, we are very, very, very far from that. Let's check some other... I, I, let's check for like things like Shining Silver Breastplate. Not that that's what, anything we need. Yeah, okay, that, that's a pretty reasonable price. It's nice to kind of get an idea of how reasonable the economy is. I have a couple of items I use as kind of like a benchmark. And the Shining Silver Breastplate is one of those benchmark items. So that's actually really good. There's a few of them on the auction house. So the economy seems to be doing pretty well. Alright, there we go. We have a skinning knife once again. And now we can actually set out and do some questing. I do want to take a minute to say thank you to you guys for all of the support you've shown on the series so far. All the likes, all the comments. I really love hearing from you guys and hearing your excitement about this playthrough because I am also very excited for it. Uh, it's It's been a long time since I've had a recorded series that I was like really excited every day to get on and record. And this is definitely one of them. And so I really appreciate you guys being here and just all the support you've shown the channel over the past few days. Thank you guys so much. Alright, so if we're looking for mobs we haven't seen yet, maybe we gotta look over in this direction. So I haven't seen either of these enemies yet. Stallhorns and Crimson Hawk Striders. The music here is really good. I often, I sometimes feel like it gets a little bit too loud though. Let me know guys if the music gets too loud or if anything needs to be adjusted and we will get that taken care of. Uh, we have another quest over here that I just didn't see before. Oh, and we've aggroed some. What I've learned also is on the mage, like we can't run from stuff. If I try to run from these guys, they will kill us before they drop aggro. This guy could, this guy could kill us anyway. It's, uh, it's really tough to be a mage. Obviously, like, I leveled the Paladin up to level 6, got him to the same point, and it feels a lot better as far as, like, your health and mana go in combat. Party like there's no tomorrow. It's Celthereal's Sel Haven quest, basically. What a calamity. I was organizing a splendid gathering in Anisteria Park, complete with wine, snacks, and all the trimmings. Suddenly a horde of dreadful creatures materialized and I had to flee for my life. I managed to survive, but at last all my party supplies were lost in the chaos. Now I'm too frightened to venture deep into the park again. Okay. Like right now, right now we're dead. <laughs> we're just dead. Like there's really, there's absolutely nothing I can do at this level to like, to survive. That was kind of why I thought like going on a paladin would be good because at least as a paladin we have a little bit more armor and we have heals. And heals are a big deal. Oh, we lived with 5 HP. 
That's actually shocking. Yeah, the Paladin's kind of like, that's the safe option. We have armor, we have heals, and so like, there's still a chance that I might go that route with it, guys. Uh, I, I still might go that route with it. I think what I'll do is like, I'll definitely finish this area on the mage and like, see how that feels. And then if we're, if we're getting beat down every fight, if it's just kind of a struggle, like if we're dying all the time, then I will catch the Paladin up to that point and we'll go, we'll go on the Paladin. Uh, just as a measure of security, because I'm, I'm still trying to get used to the level of difficulty here on this server. Uh, I do feel like the difficulty is more overtuned than it is in the vanilla, like the vanilla version that I'm used to playing in Classic. Uh, it's just taking, it's taking a long time to get used to. And so like a Paladin just might be like a even on the Paladin there were a couple times when I still died. So, but it just might be a little bit of a smoother option for us. Also, I'm realizing that I'm just, I'm kind of just bad at ranged classes. The really important thing on a mage is starting at maximum range. And like, I am not good at starting at max range. You just watch me walk right up to this guy and not even really notice him. And at least on a paladin, I can walk up to enemies and like, that's what I'm supposed to do. We're not going to be at a huge disadvantage when I don't start at max range. But you guys let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, I do have the paladin ready to take over like whenever, so. And what I've done is I, I've basically created the same character. So the way I envision it is kind of like, it could be like a roleplay choice. We, we could be a magic user now, and we could uh, we could become wary of the arcane arts, seeing what's happened to the wizard, to the withered, and maybe we make like a character choice to instead embrace the holy light. That was kind of how I thought to like frame it. Okay, these guys do have the Stallhorn meat, these stags over here. And right over here I see a Crimson Hawk Strider, so it looks like we, we have found the right area for this. If we want to go back into the park area, we do have the party supplies to look for.
Aha, uh -huh. okay, so the supplies we're looking for are going to be these crates. Uh, I don't see any on this side of the lake, so I'm going to cross over. Like, fighting this level 8 guy is really risky. If I don't fight him, he's probably going to aggro anyway. Alright, we completed the quest. Now I'm realizing that I have no idea where this lady is at. <laughs> I took the quest um, from somebody, and they were somewhere. And I'm so used to having like at least quest tracking that tells me where to turn things in that uh, now I have no idea where she is at. kind of thought she was somewhere in town here. But yeah, maybe not. Huh. Okay, well that's going to be a problem. I don't think she was like too deep into the city. I felt like I just kind of ran into her naturally as, as I left the city and then we, we turned slightly to the right. And then there she was. Maybe if we kind of retrace those movements we'll find her. Well, we didn't find her, uh, but we did find yet another quest. Uh, another quest whose like quest-giving location I will no doubt forget. I am honored. 
I'm gonna have to start writing stuff down, like I, which is which sounds weird, but yeah, without any quest tracking, even for turn-ins, it's gonna be impossible for me to find all these people as spread out as they are. Uh, peculiar treants. These lands echo the beauty of Quelth the Lost, yet within the similarities lies an intriguing divergence. Presently, I find myself engrossed in the study of the treants that grace this realm. Although they possess a semblance of familiarity, there's a peculiar quality about them that eludes my understanding. If by any chance you could procure a primal heart from one of these beings, it would significantly propel my research. I'm not particularly skilled in combat, and the guards have thwarted my attempts to get too close. However, I believe they won't pose the same hindrance to you. Oh, they'll pose a hindrance to me, alright. Yeah, there will be hindrance. Maybe she was back here? Like, let's see, would, would we have crossed this bridge? Yeah, I think we would have crossed the bridge. Oh yeah, there she is. Okay, good, good, good. And then this guy... This guy will try to remember he's hanging out right around this area. Ah, for the Treant Hearts. Oh, that's level 7, which is good. Maybe that'll make us a little bit more powerful. Give us a little bit more HP so we can survive a little bit longer.
All right, there we go. There's the primal heart. Um, should we go turn this one in right now? I think so. We're pretty close to this turn in, so let's make our way over. We'll get this one turned in, and then we'll continue going after the mana worm eyes and the meat that we need. Oof, big, big oof. Inventory's full. Um, hmm. Oh, he has a follow-up. Whispers of Autumn. To the west, there lies the land of eternal autumn, a nearly forgotten legend among our people. Millennia ago, in the earliest days of our arrival on these shores, there were those among us who endeavored to plant a new world tree. Alas, the endeavor failed, and the cursed tree wrought a transformative spell upon the entire land, condemning it to an eternal autumn. Neither able to perish nor truly flourish, the island became a testament to our past ambition gone awry. I ask you to embark upon a journey to this mystic isle and produce a uh, procure a primal heart from the treants that now inhabited. What area are they talking about? Like, I know that they, they tried to plant several world trees. Um, they planted the one in Northrend to negate the effects of the Serenite ore that was seeping up from the old god that was there. Like, I don't, some of, like, I've been reading Chronicle recently and I'm having trouble, like, I'm having trouble placing the time frame but I'm also having trouble like placing some of the lore that they're talking about. Uh, I don't I don't know what world tree would be here. Like Fandel Stegholm, I, I think took several sprouts from the from the world tree, and they planted them in various spots. So I guess this must be one of them. But I'm having trouble squaring some of the lore. Um, as much as I want to run right over there and check out the land of Eternal Autumn, uh, let's go after the, the worms and the meats.
ready yet. All right, that's all the eyes we need. Now we need a lot more Stallhorn meat and a lot more Hawk Strider wings. We haven't found a lot of Hawk Striders. And it seems like to get to the Hawk Striders and the other things, we're going to have to contend with a lot of the Elder Crimson Lynx, uh, which are all aggressive and kind of dotting this entire area. And our inventory is full. Oh boy. Okay. Um, let's go see if we can find a vendor somewhere nearby. Uh, I'm not really sure. There could be a vendor here. Maybe there's a vendor back at the little outpost. Let's go see. There is no vendor here. That's that's sad. I'm I'm really hoping there's going to be a vendor back over this way. If not, then we either have to run back to Brentelian or to Alathalas. My inventory is full. Did you guys know that? Uh, again, no vendors here. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, there need to be ven there needs to be a vendor here. Absolutely, 100%. There has to be a vendor here, or there has to be a vendor over this way. Like not having a vendor in either place, it, it feels pretty bad. Yeah, that that's that's bad feeling. Let's let's hearth back to the starting area. Uh, I really wish they could have just put a vendor like in, in either place. Would have been great.
assist you. Uh, all of a sudden it got really cloudy. Oh, it's raining. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I feel like it rains quite often. They must have the active weather kind of like cranked up to add more variety.
All right, not only do we have Murlocs over here, we have Naga over here as well. And we have lots and lots of competition for all of the mobs. Alright, we've basically reached the end of the line here. Let's turn back around. We'll head back the direction we came. We need six and six. Six more of each.
Uh, right, level eight. Inventory's full. We need a couple more mobs. Uh, against my better judgment, I'm gonna stay out and get the rest of what we need for the quest. We should probably go back immediately and vendor and train. Uh, but we have a long run before we can do either of those things. I don't think we have a trainer or a vendor anywhere nearby. Uh, so with that in mind, I would like to at least finish these quests. Uh, or not. We we are out of stags. We'd have to start heading back the other direction to get more stags. Uh, so, you know, with that in mind, maybe we just have to, maybe we just gotta head back to town. Maybe we just have to head back to town. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to spend the money to buy another bag. Yeah, we, we really, we really have to buy another bag. As much as we really don't have the money, I, I need inventory space. Let's head over to the city. That might be a little bit closer, a little bit easier to get to a trainer, to get to a vendor if we just go this way. Just swim across the lake here to avoid some of the mobs. Alright, we got Arcane Missiles. <clears throat> Don't know how much we're going to use that. We can't seem to train it anyway. A polymorph. Okay, we can't seem to train that either. What exactly is going on here? Let's do... Okay, Slash Reload does not do anything in this game. Uh, which means uh, I don't really have any like troubleshooting options when things don't work. Okay, let's just close out. Uh, is there a different mage trainer that I need to talk to? I am honored. Okay. Oh, there we go. It worked that time. Frostbolt rank 2 we need. Polymorph is going to be good when we know there's a 2 pull and we need to eliminate one of them. I, I really need Frost Nova. Frost Nova is what I really, really need. But it looks like we're going to be waiting a little bit on that. Uh, let's get Frost Bolt Rank 2 out to the bar. That's going to be a little bit more damage on our opener. Uh, which is definitely going to help. But what's going to help most is having Frost Nova, which I don't think we get that till level 10. Uh, we could try out Arcane Missiles and see if maybe it's just like a, it's a chunk of damage. Give it a try, see how we feel about it. Uh, and then now all that's left to do is to find a vendor. I'd like to find a general goods vendor. That way maybe we can... We have exactly five silver. I'm going to have to spend the five silver on a bag. Like, we, we absolutely have to get a bag.
Uh, you have a quest. You really have to do look around for these quests, because if you don't know they're there, you're going to miss them. Love no matter what. I lost everything when Arthas came. My wealth, my influence, my home. However, amidst the ruins, I discovered something new. Love. If not for Lynn and her unwavering support, I'm certain... I'm uncertain how I would have coped with this disaster. I wish to express my gratitude to her, but I'm at a loss for how to do so. I've never excelled in matters of sentiment. It might sound peculiar, but perhaps a fox fur would compliment her beautiful hair. I've heard that foxes inhabit the Autumn Isle to the west. If you could obtain their fur and bring it to Vaudoi Goldweaver, he could craft a stunning stole. Cool, okay, so there's going to be quest hiding in these buildings. Uh, no doubt, if guys, if you know that I'm missing a quest, you can go ahead and let me know. Uh, we're not going to count that as a spoiler. If you just tell me the locations of quests that I need to pick up that I haven't picked up yet. I am definitely okay with that. General supplies, let's go ahead and we will vendor everything. Let's put the back piece on for some additional armor. Oh, look at this, guys. We, at some point, we found a green pouch. And I just didn't even notice. I'm sure you guys were yelling at the screen as my inventory was full, telling me, Robert, please, equip the bag. All right, that being said, I'm going to buy one more. So we do have a little bit of silver after vendoring everything. There we go. This, this feels much better. Okay, this is going to allow us to be out in the field for much longer, which is something that we really need right now. Oh man, look how beautiful this is. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, I am basically out of time for today, so I'm going to stop right here. Uh, we've got a few objectives outstanding, and then after that, we might be off to the Autumn Isle, which I am really excited about. Thank you guys very much for being here with me. I truly do appreciate the support. If you are digging the content, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really does help out a lot, and I really appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again in Azeroth very soon. Bye for now.